What is up everyone, Nils Infinity here, back at it again with a game called Chocolate Factory Simulator. It says enter the world of steam and sugar and become a master chocolatier in Chocolate Factory Simulator. Craft gourmet chocolate for your customers in your steampunk workshop with the help of your automation assistant nugget, nugget, nugget. I don't know, however you say that word. Um, this game is set to release 2024, so it's coming out sometime this year. Um, I'm doing a play test, so I figure I have the opportunity to check it out and showcase it for y'all. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump in and uh, see what it's all about. Let's see, sounds so interesting. New event. First steps, welcome to your very own chocolate manufacturer. Create delicious confections of various whimsical designs. Sell them to customers who each have their own specific tasks and requirements. Develop your workshop and become a household name known on every airship. Oh, that's sick. Uh, next page. Okay, take your first order. Use the tele telephone hanging on the wall to take your first order. All right. Sensitivity is so oh, shit. Sensitivity is not too bad. Alright, uh, how do we do that? Phone? Use? Left mouse? Okay. Hello, chocolatier. I just returned from a very long trip and I'm craving some chocolate. Can you satisfy my whim? Uh, let's see. Easy, difficulty, chocolate type, bitter chocolate, tempered, crystallized. Yep, yep. Okay. Alright. All this and see what we gotta do. All right, here we go. It's got a little, little bit of a stutter to it every now and then, but get in here. All right, wants us to uh, pick it up. All right, boom. Okay, pouring while holding the ingredients. Interact with the container into which you want to pour them. Use the mouse to adjust the pouring speed. The slower the pour, the more precise the measurements will be. Okay, pick up the jar of cocoa. All right, um, oh, no interaction. Pick up a bag of cocoa. Pick up a jar of cocoa butter. Um, assigned to robot. Where are we, where are we pouring all this at, though? Um, uh, oh, hold on. Okay, there we go. Mouse wheel. Just switch to the other, I think. There we go. Okay. Uh, pick up a bag of sugar. Alright, boom. Okay, add cocoa to the pot. Alright, here we go. Add cocoa to the pot. Alright, so what do we got? Um, add the cocoa. Add cocoa to the pot. 40 grams. Okay, pour. Forty grams. Nice, okay, perfect. Okay, and cocoa butter to the pot, forty grams. Looks pretty cool. Could be the perfect. Add sugar, twenty grams. Perfect. That's complete. Okay, fantastic. Now it's time to turn the machinery. Oh wait, it went away so quick. Okay, pick up a bag of coal. Bag of coal. Oh, okay, over here. All right, bag of coal, pick up. Okay, um, add fuel to the furnace. Oh wait, bag of coal, what did I pick up? What is this? I don't know. <laughs> oh, 
I need three bags of coal. Okay. Machines need power. Your machines need steam to work. To create pressure, put some coal in the furnace. Power dis distribution. To properly dispute power to individual machines, use the valves located in the boiler room. Remember to turn off the valves of the machine that you're not currently using. This will save energy. Okay, well, we're going to trust that Yalma walk us through it and feel to the furnace. Oh, this is sick. I like this. Damn. Okay. Um, put inside. Put inside. Put inside. Close that. Pull the furnace. Uh, pull the furnace starter. Hold and pull. Oh, okay. Set the heat valve to the optimal level, 60%. Okay, hold and twist. There we go. Nice. Okay, pick up the pot. Place the pot on the stove. Alright, uh, pick it up. Right here, put it on there. All right, turn on the heater using the valve. Okay, heat the ingredients to a temperature of 40 to 55 and mix using a spatula. 40 to 55, let's do like 45 then. Okay, spatula, pick up, use. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. We're mixing it and mixing it. 40 and mix using a spatula. Uh -huh. How often? How much do you do this? Oh, you gotta keep mixing it, and oh, I see the temperature is getting there. Guess we can just do it nice and slow. Damn. Okay, I see. Well, I see what the. Okay, okay. So I have the temperature set, but I'm just trying to get this up to that temperature. Let's drop. Open to 45%. No interactions. Oh. So we want to get this heated up real quick. There we go. All right, so we're waiting for those percentages to go ahead and go up to the uh, 40 to 55. So I think we got to turn it down when it starts going. So then it says to turn off the heater. All right. Close the valve and supply. Close the valve supplying the heater. Okay. We 
we gotta come over here. Turn that off. Perfect. Okay. Set. Oh. Wait. Set press valve to optimal level. Let's see. All right. Set chocolate shape. All right. Okay. Nice chocolate cubes. Open, open. Oh, okay. Open the press with the wheel. Open the press with the wheel. Oh, that looks so sick. Okay, pour the li liqueur from the pot into, okay. I'll press this and pour. Close the press, start the press, wait for the finish. Alright, and... Close the press, start the press, wait for it to finish. Nice, this is pretty dope. It's definitely different. I mean, you know, just like with any game, you've got to learn how it all works and stuff and anything. But man, this is, uh... Really, really freaking cool. The press, okay. All right, pick it up. Set packing machine valve to the optimal level. Sixty percent. Nice place the chocolate bar in the packing area. So this is a process, like I ain't gonna lie. Alright, choose the packing. Simple box. Start the packing machine and wait for it to finish. Nice, okay. Uh, it comes out over here. Ah, oh, freaking cool. Pick up the chocolate. Okay, put the packing, packed chocolate into the shipping machine. Start the shipping machine. Okay. Damn. Oh, I like this. Damn, look at that. That is wild looking. Holy smokes. This is sick. Look at all the all the little detail and everything that they've managed to put into this game. This is wild. All right, start the uh, shipping machine and wait for the pickup. Ah. Good. That's so cool. Let's see what it looks like. We got it. It's all flying over. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. It looks delicious. I can't wait to consume it. Good luck in the future. Future endeavors, chocolatier. Pepper reputation has increased 50. Okay, keep up the good work. For satisfaction. Let's not grow complacent. Maintaining our worship is good condition, just important. Okay. What we gotta do? Uh, pick up the wrench. Alright. And uh, tighten any loosened bolts in the press. Keep it in 
Steampunk. Very nice. So you even gotta like maintain your stuff here. Freaking dope. Pretty smooth though. Like I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is really nice. Even on the side here. <laughs> Let's go. Oh yeah. Freaking dope. Gotta use the phone to take customer's order. Orders. Hello, easy milk chocolate. Okay, good day. I would like some chocolate. I need to keep me awake. It needs to keep me awake through another day of writing. <laughs> it needs a good kick, please. All right. All right, pick up the uh, mortar. All right, pick it up. Boom. Okay. Use the mortar and pestle. Grind the ingredients until you obtain the desired texture. And to chocolate. Add the ground ingredients to the chocolate. Remember that the perfect chocolate bar weighs 100 grams therefore if you want a chocolate to contain a uh, chocolate to contain 20 grams of nuts you need to pour 80 grams of liquid chocolate into the press form oh okay how you going oh right here oh no oh but look at that though that looks cool tells you your uh thing on there all that stuff all right uh hold and pull Okay, so place the mortar under the almond dispenser. Okay, and then pour almonds, 20 grams. Perfect. Pick that up. Okay, grind the almonds to consistency fine. Oh, were we supposed to do it here? Oh, okay. Uh, grind. Grind the almond. Am I missing where it goes? Bro. The assigned robot Q. More info. Oh, okay. Pick up. How do we grind them? That's that's what I was getting. Let's see, uh, almond one. I put it there. Hold and pull, okay. Almond, consistency, hole. Not really sure. What is all up in here though? I wanna take a look at this real quick. Oh, this looks awesome. Interior designer. Yeah, that's sick. Off it. A nice little view out here. Pretty dope. That yeah, okay. Uh, we we have to figure out how to grind these. I'm not sure. I would think probably back in uh, maybe back in here is what I'm thinking. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think it's nougat. Nougat. This garbage chute. Bottled milk. We got more cocoa powder. And some brown sugar. A bag of coal. Bag of coal. Bag of coal. Okay, so what is those patterns? Decorative table. Packing design table. This stuff right here you probably unlock later. Large bowl. Pour. Pour. Oh, 
chocolate design table. Huh. All that, okay. Grind the almonds. Where am I supposed to grind them, though? I have this mortar pestle, I just, I don't know what to do with it though. This says pick up. A wrench. Do you put them in here? No. What is this? What is this thing? This is additive. Oh wait, no, that's cinnamon. This one right here is pistachio. This is strawberry. This is almond. And cinnamon. I mean, do you do you put them? I feel like it would have gone right here. Boring spot. Use robot. Hold and pour. Grind the almonds consistency fine. Pour almond to mortar. Oh, let's see here. Warehouse, uh, robot, orders, new shop, and buy stuff here, all kinds of ingredient, ingredients. <laughs> uh, you got, okay, coal worth, it's weight in gold, recipes, bitter chocolate, milk chocolate, okay, um, statistics. Yeah, okay. Um we grind I'm I'm so confused how we grind. I feel like it'd be something over here. Pour. I want to pour that though. I need to grind it. I would have thought that I would have done it over here. Maybe I'm supposed to pour it in here. Temperature on ingredients is too low. Remember that it's best to mix if it's between these degrees. I don't know. I have no clue. Uh, pick up. I don't know. We'll, uh, I guess we'll just set that that there for right now. All right, so we go over here to the almonds. The almond. Boom. All right, 15. Oh my gosh, this whole time. Dead. Horse. I was like, there's gotta be a way to access the freaking thing. Medium. Okay. Nobody likes living in dirt. 
Use the garbage chute to get rid of empty packages or containers from dishes. Okay, add cocoa to the pot. Add cocoa to the pot. Okay, add cocoa. Let's see. What are they doing? Add cocoa to pot. Oh my gosh. Hold on. No, pick that up. Oh my gosh, the pot. What's a pot? Wait, hold on. They got shit and all these. Oh my gosh. Alright, uh, let's see. And coca to the pot. Add butter. Okay, so this pot here. Okay, put it here. That's bitter chocolate. Pair the milk chocolate. Where do I get another pot from, though? I don't have any more pots. So do I order? I'm wondering. Shop. Pot. Add a cart. Add a cart. Little butter jar, all around bowl. Where does it put all that stuff? Or does, uh, all right, see y'all, we're still getting used to, uh, Okay, so he delivers it. All right, all right. So he's delivering it. Oh, the look when it's getting delivered. Pretty dope, though. Definitely, uh, kind of wish they would have showed you a little bit more, like how to use the mortar and stuff. At first, you're like, "What's going on here?" All right, use. Nice, nice. Open up. Oh, okay. So, this is just a normal pot. Alright. Uh, ingredients. Here's another normal pot. Here's a new mortar. Here's a new spatula. Alright. Let's throw this on there. Wait, can I not? Oh, can. Okay, there we go. Alright, uh, open. Alright, um. We definitely know milk goes here. Alright, um this. Oh, zero percent. Oh, what the heck? I don't know why it falls down. But if I was to do this one. Oh, zero percent. Okay. Uh, let's see where and stuff go. We can put it right here. All right, and we got a small bowl, large bowl, small bowl, large bowl. Go. All right, so, okay, um, 
Add sugar and almonds to the pot. Okay. The almond pot, sugar. Was it sugar? That bag of sugar. All right, seventeen grams. Perfect. Ooh, it's a little, little. Uh, definitely takes a minute to get used to how to do all this stuff so this right here lets you know weight 963 grams uh it's uh one kilogram okay. so this one right here is 129 129 and then if i took the cocoa one here that uh, lets me know 124 okay cool all right so let's add some uh some of this to it here 23 grams. Perfect. Uh, cocoa butter, add cocoa butter to pot. Cocoa butter, okay. 23 grams. All right, add powdered milk. All right, so I gotta put these other ones back. Boom. Funny that these ones don't stand up. Just fall down. Uh, bottle of milk, right? And powdered milk to the pot. Is that... It's gotta be it. Bottle of milk. Oh yeah, powdered milk. Okay, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. 17 grams. Perfect. I guess you could keep this stuff wherever you want it, but I just uh, take it on there. Nice. All right. Cool. Cool. Looking pretty snazzy. Okay. Make uh, make eighty grams of milk chocolate in a pot. Oh, okay. So I think what I have to do is turn this on. This is going. Let's see, valve heater, valve. Let's see. So temperature, yes. Tempered, yes. Okay. Ingredients is too low. Make 80 grams of milk chocolate in a pot. That's the temperature. Remember, best is to mix 40 to 55. Right now, okay. Forty to fifty five. All right, so then we just gotta wait until this hits the uh, forty to fifty five real quick. Pretty cool. I mean, I honestly really like the uh, the all the the technicalities to this and everything. It's really really neat. Make eighty grams of milk. Total weight. There's a hundred. All right, so we're waiting until that hits forty. Then I'll throw a spatula in, whip it up real quick, and we should be good to go. All right. Alright, go ahead and take that 
that up. Boom. Pour the liquid. Form. We want to turn this off though. There we go. All right, you want to pour 80 grams. There we go. Perfect. Complete the order. Boom. All right, that's done. Boom. Close the press hatch. Oh, I didn't have it all the way down, I guess. Okay, oh yeah, oh yeah. I guess after you do this a little bit, it's, uh, you get the idea of, like, where to go, how to do it, what stuff looks like. That That's a big thing for me, is not knowing what everything looked like, technically. So. Press has stopped working. What did it stop working for? Open to 60. Open to 60. Eat. It's all because the uh, I think because the bolts are This is stop working. Peter. Oh, sixty percent, sixty percent. What are we doing on here? Furnace is going. power available for the machine oh oh I think uh, the thing over there okay let's see we need coal level one bag of coal level three all right let's see find out here Feel, I see. All right, there we go. Sixty percent. I think we're good now. Close the press hatch. Oh, I like how it's kind of letting you know, though, like what's going on. All right, so we should be good because I have enough power over there. All right, all right. I think we got it. I think we got it. We, we encountered probably every issue you could have, I would think. So. Press to stop working. Team press to stop working. Damn. I don't know. It might not be doing something right. Figure out an order here. Got enough power there. 
open. Maybe we need like 70%. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that wasn't. See what it says. I feel like it's gonna break down. If anything, it could have been the temperature. That's possible. Are we going a little longer than normal? Not working at optimal power. stuff done that might be what's going on Of those, so go ahead and get these all tightened up really quick. Make sure that's it. Kind of wish the tutorial gave you a little better idea on some stuff. I feel like it's a little doesn't quite, I guess, ready you necessarily. the press hatch. Press has stopped working. Hmm. There's something I'm supposed to... Oh, yeah. Open a hundred percent. Open a hundred percent. I don't know. We're gonna open it a hundred percent and find out. No power available for the machine. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I don't know. This is. Ah, oh, this, is, this is very intense. Let me complete an order. I got that going. It's coming through here. Gene press is not working at optimal. What would optimal be? All right, well, let's throw some fuel in here. Let's see if uh, maybe we just need some more, you know? Trying to add in the furnace is too much, won't fit in the container. Wait until the fuel burns down, there's more room in the furnace. Try to add low level fuel. Alright. Guess we gotta order one. Let's see what we can do. Alright, let's uh, order some. Okay, that. Boom, boom. Okay. Order is shop. Doesn't seem to be anything in here for me to get a. Ah. Where do I get where do I get more charcoal from? Or more of this from? I get coal. Let's say burn time fifty minutes. Burn time thirty minutes. What is this communication module for robot? What else here. We get the robot on. Hmm. 
know how we use them. See what happens. We got here. Hold and press. Use robot use. Hmm. I don't know. Figuring it out, y'all. Not sure what I'm doing or what I need to be doing. I mean, this is what I'm, I'm getting at is this, but. Do we want the valves to be less? Shows like sixty percent. All right, maybe maybe we don't want those being all high and everything. All right, let's uh, go ahead and this all ratched up to a hundred again. We'll uh, see if maybe maybe I was putting it too high. Maybe I need to go down a little bit on there. See what this does. Give it a shot here. Press is not working at optimal temperature. Tempered crystal. See. Sorry y'all, I don't mean to flick the thing around there. Alright, recipes. Okay, milk chocolate. Temperature 40 to 55. Okay, pin recipe. Alright, ingredients. Calculate. Oh, that's white chocolate, bitter chocolate, no, milk chocolate, there we go, milk chocolate. Eat until the required temperature is reached. Cocoa, I'm going something in here man oh. that's telling me how much feel I have so I don't think the feel I think the feel is fine I think what we need is get the right full percentage over here this was at 60 originally Pressure, or do we want it all the way up? Okay, so are we adjust? I'm thinking we're adjusting these valves to be the right amount of pressure. Just not sure what. Pour the liquor, liqueur, from the pot into the press form. Thinking maybe we've got to adjust those one valves to make that other valve at a certain amount of pressure so it'll work. Fingers crossed, y'all. I think we might have it. Please, baby, please. 
Please tell me that's what it was. I think, uh... Oh my god. These bolts, man, they, uh, they're like, all right, I, I think, I think we're, uh, I think we're getting it. I think what happened was, is this, uh, I gotta keep this going. Let's see, all right. Keep ratcheting these. Try to keep all this stuff going. Holy shit, this is a lot of work. What is this? Hold on. What is this? Stop. Okay. Is it this whole time? Tempered, crystallized. Tempered, crystallized. How do we, how do we temper it and crystallize it? No. Tempered and crystallized. What do we do to temper and crystallize? Decorative table. Oh my god. Okay, hold on y'all. This whole time... Okay, I think that I've been putting it there. Hold on. What is this? Chocolate design table. Circle, square, oval. Oh, if somebody wants uh, something like that. I see. Okay, okay. Dude, they don't they don't tell you how to temper crystallize all that stuff patterns try uh hold on how do you get it tempered and crystallized is what i'm wondering oh the pot on me Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Y'all, this this is so fucking hard. Hold on, what the fuck is going on? There we go. It's a lot easier to do from out here. Alright, well <laughs> I think I've been defeated. This is this is not easy. Um, super freaking cool. I, I, I personally think it's, uh, the tutorial needs to do a little bit better explaining how to do some of this stuff. Not one thing tells me what it takes to tempered or crystallize a piece of chocolate, and I know not everybody, like, I don't make chocolate, so I don't have a freaking clue how to do any of that or what I'm supposed to do. Um, I think it needs a better explanation of how to work this. I also feel like these bolts here are just way too freaking long. 
like I mean I mean uh, not way too long but they they just they freaking unthread way too easily so I think that it should work now I don't know if it means when it's uh when it's you know stops working I don't know if that means that the machine like broke down or if that's meaning that I like like just the job's done I feel like it needs to say like stop working if it actually stops working or or hey it's it's finished you know so it's easier to come from the side to do it if you're trying to get it right on there empty nothing perfect what are you like I said um we're gonna go ahead and um I guess uh package this up like I said, I don't have a freaking clue how to do this part. So, I'm going to put that on there. And, uh... Go ahead and boom. It's critically overloaded. It is not done. Decorative. Pick up. Like I said, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. I wanted to put it on here, but it wouldn't let me do nothing. So I was thinking it went on there, but I don't know. I guess not. I guess this uh, per person is just going to get one that is not crystallized or nothing or whatever. But yeah, we'll at least uh, get this order out and uh, I guess kind of call it there. So let's uh, get this picked up. It's not perfect, but you know, <laughs> pour the liqueur from the pot into the press form. 80 grams. I did that. And then it says complete the order. Um, I heated it up and it just uh, never said crystallized or, uh, or whatnot. Man, this is so cool though. It's like really, really cool. I definitely just would have loved a way to learn more or understand it better or in your little book here, you know, have something that tells you, you know, like what it takes to crystallize or, or how to use the valves, you know, to adjust certain temperatures. Or the return the order. Well, I got 100% still anyway, so hell yeah, that was freaking good. Um, oh, end of the demo version. Well, perfect. There we go. Uh, <laughs> all right, y'all. Sorry that it took so long to uh, show that. Um, I guess I'll just leave it there so that other people realize that there's a possibility of y'all struggling with the same thing, trying to figure it out. But uh, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, definitely be sure to wishlist this. Check it out on Steam. If you want to try, um, try it out or whatnot, you might be able to have an opportunity to do the play test and check out the demo version of the game and stuff. But, um, yeah, hopefully, like I said, the, uh, full release of the game actually comes out and maybe has a couple little things to help you a little bit better and stuff would be really, really cool. But, uh, with that being said, Nulls Infinity, where life never ends, and I will see y'all on the next one.